these are tools for manual pollination of plants and uh, obviously this project is about bees and how we humans are today positioned in the natural world together with other species. And uh, what's interesting maybe is uh, how I started with this um, piece is it has one uh, project before uh, uh, which was uh, based on a research and uh, what I noticed, uh, at that time I first focused on bees first time and I noticed that bees in the countryside are not doing so well that bees in the city. And this was for me very intriguing or very interesting, stimulating information, what is going on. And through, through this uh, information I, uh, of course, started to discover um, that um, pollination of uh, uh, intensive agriculture uh, makes um, pollination of plants uh, sometimes uh, problematic and bees are um, picking up this pollen which is uh, poison and they are dying in big, big numbers. So um, uh, this uh, information led me uh, in next step is this project which is talking about what if uh, all or most of the pollinators would die and people would need maybe to think of how to help them or how to replace them because we totally depend on uh, pollination otherwise there would be soon no nature and no food uh, with that also. We forget many times that a lot of food is um, pollinated by, by, um, by bees, butterflies, mammalbees and so on. So, um, it's a kind of um, humorous uh, interpretation uh, with these tools, but also these tools help people to, I think, to think, but maybe also through time to change their habits to how to behave or how to um, relate to, to nature, natural environment. It's, it demands more sensibility, uh, more uh, responsibility also. No? And, uh, an uh, important lesson here is that um, uh, that we have to work together. So uh, not only that, uh, like in these times, individual times, but but as a as a, a group, we will achieve much better results and much we will have also much fun, much more fun. Oh, thank you. I was long or what? <laughs> <laughs>